I'm not gonna. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Good Morning KU. I'm Christian Hitt. And I'm Sydney Kolozinski. So, how was your weekend? It was good. I um, I missed the big event of the weekend, which was the Oscars last night. I, I didn't know. I didn't get a chance to watch. Clearly, Same. not a social. I was doing homework, or else I would have watched. It. Yeah, I, like I to watch that stuff. Yeah, I was at the sporting game, but I didn't. I heard about all the awards that were oh, yeah, presented, yeah. and I saw Kobe won, which mm -hmm. was like. I Crazy. wanted him to win so bad. <laughs> I got to, I got a chance to watch his short what film. What can't Kobe do? I know, right? <laughs> like he's already won a five championships right. and now an Oscar. No, so he's you like, know what it was for though? Wasn't it for? It like was a short film. He it was shown at his um, Jersey retirement. So oh really? Yeah, it I was really cool. That. It was it was like called Deer Basketball. It was really yeah. if you get okay, a chance Kobe. to watch it, you should see <laughs> it. But and then uh, which one won best? Film, I think. Best like picture went to I think The Shape of Water, oh, which okay. I've never heard of that. Before. And then didn't the Get Out director? Yeah, he thing? won for best I think original screenplay, yeah. which is really cool. Which that was like the movie of yeah. the year. I feel like I kind of forgot about it because yeah. it seemed so long ago. But that for sure probably definitely should have won. The other event was the KU basketball team losing mm, yeah. terribly to Oklahoma State, it's pretty sad. which was pretty rough. <laughs> but. I mean, with March coming up, we know that on any given day, any team can win. And right. Devontae Graham said that basically after the post game, mm -hmm. in his post game interview. I mean, yeah, you know, we wanted to come out and have more energy, but uh, I don't know. They just, they just, they play well. So I just feel like you got to give them all the credit. But with the Big 12 tournament now, Oklahoma plays Oklahoma State, and mm. if they win and we will meet them again, It'll so be like for a, a little, you know, we can get them back, hopefully not hopefully. lose by 20 again. <laughs> That's rough. And we have like another clip of Bill Self talking about that. I, I'm not going to say who I hope wins because, you know, as soon as you start wishing for things like that, you, you, you don't... Uh, it, it never plays out the way that you, you had envisioned, but we're going to play either Oklahoma or Oklahoma State. And uh, both teams are capable of beating us because they've won three out of four against us. And uh, certainly it, it'll be a coin flip game either way. And, and uh, uh, we're going to have to be a, a heck of a lot better than we were the, the two times that we played uh, uh, the two times that we played OSU and, and the one time in Norman that we played OU. So hopefully next time we meet Oklahoma State, if we do get the chance, we will get revenge. Fingers crossed. Yes. I want to play them again. <laughs> yes, I want to do well in the Big 12 tournament. Like, we always have the, just, I don't know why. We just I just want to be able to talk a lot of mess on Twitter, so I need them to come back. You want the trash talk? <laughs> well, after the break, we'll be back with Lindsay and a guest from the Odyssey. Have a nice day. You too. I'm Lindsay, and I'm with Hannah from the Odyssey. Hi. Welcome on our show. Will you tell us about the Odyssey? Yeah, so Odyssey is a virtual writing platform that allows undergraduate and graduate students to publish their work on a national virtual platform, which, you know, is able, which makes them desirable when they want to go to grad school or um, when they're looking for their first job to be able to say like, you know, oh, I have work published on a virtual platform, here's the link, oh, you know, awesome. so that your employer can like look at your work and see that you're published as an undergraduate, which is pretty awesome. What type of writing do you get to do? Um, really any type of writing, poetry, um, short like 500 word essays, um, like politics, 
activism, really anything. I tend to go for like the 500 words on or like the list, mm. you know, uh -huh. I like listicles and stuff. So it's pretty free, you know, you can do whatever. Um, how do you join? Um, so you just apply to, you, okay, so you look up Odyssey KU Community and there is a link that says apply here to create um, for content creators, which we're really trying to expand our team right now. And awesome. then, yeah, and then you're supposed to uh, just fill out this really short application that takes like less than a minute. And um, our editor in chief will get back to you within 24 hours and ask oh, for an interview. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What's your favorite part about being on the Odyssey? Um, so, my favorite part of being on the Odyssey is that you are able to create your literary portfolio online and then kind of watch it expand as you, you know continue writing week after week and you're able to, you know, if something strikes you or you're passionate about something, you have the freedom to write about anything you want. Oh, cool. So, yeah, it kind of takes away the the status quo of like, oh, publishing is so hard, but it's really not. You can right. do it in blink of an eye. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I don't think so. There is, okay, so we do want to have our content writers uh, publish at least one, you know, work or one, um, you know, article a week. Um, but I feel like that is, you know, it only helps you when, you know, creating mm -hmm. your own portfolio. So, so it's like easy to keep up with. Yeah, okay. exactly. It's easy to keep up with, really low maintenance. It takes like less than 30 minutes and you have a really awesome thing to put on your resume. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you for having me. Keep watching for the news. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Jackie. And I'm Andrew Collins, and this is your Monday Good Morning KU News Update. The Florida Senate will consider legislation today to create a program for arming teachers. Additional laws will raise the minimum age for buying a rifle to 21 and add millions of dollars to mental health programs. Two students at the scene of the high school shooting in Florida continue to discredit a teacher who has been hailed as a hero. Josh Gallagher says that he was in math teacher Jim Gard's classroom when the fire alarm went off. As students were leaving the room, they heard gunshots, but as they tried to get back inside, Gard had locked the door and would not let them in. Gard says he was following protocol by not opening the door, but that he did not see any students trying to get in. Following the success of the Winter Olympics, South Korea will send a delegation to North Korea today to discuss nuclear tensions and pave the way for a meeting between North Korea and the United States. This will be the first diplomatic trip between the two countries in more than 10 years. In sports, the baseball and softball teams continue to play well. The softball team won the Carolina Classic Tournament this weekend and raised its record to 16-3. and three. The baseball team swept Texas Southern this weekend and is now 8-2. and two. Uh, The Jayhawks will play tonight and tomorrow at Florida State before returning home next weekend to play a three-game series with St. John's. The KU women's basketball season is officially over after a first round loss to K-State in the Big 12 tournament last week. The Wildcats' 72-63 victory dropped KU and did any chance of making the NCAA tournament. After a great start to the season, the Jayhawks lost 15 of their straight 16 games to finish the season at 12-18. The men's team was clobbered by Oklahoma State on Saturday, losing 82-64. to But the Jayhawks may get to face the Cowboys again as early as Thursday afternoon. KU will enter the Big 12 tournament at the top seed, uh, as the top seed and will face the winner of the Oklahoma-Oklahoma State game. Tip-off will be at 2 p.m. at the Sprint Center in Kansas City. And that will wrap it up for today's sports update. Please keep watching, and Julie will be back with the week's forecast. shop local in the heart of the city, you support the people that make our community thrive. The money you spend here stays here, in this place we call our home. 
Lawrence, Kansas, where there's good old-fashioned hometown pride. Eat local, drink local, shop local. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back. I'm Julie Cullen, and we're joined by Madison outside of Wesco. Madison, how's the weather out there? Ooh, it's pretty chilly today. It's definitely different from the past few days, you know. Been feeling nice, but if you're going to be outside for more than a few minutes, you're definitely going to need a coat today. Yeah. So I look around, I'm seeing quite a few people out with their heavier jackets on, so keep that in mind. Yeah, is there any sunshine coming out, or is it still super cloudy? Uh, just now it came out. You know, the clouds are moving pretty fast, but it is pretty cloudy, and we've got a breeze. I don't know if you can hear that, but coming in and out. Um, but pretty light for now, but I know it was pretty strong this morning. Yeah, do you think that wind is like kind of gusty or is it pretty sustained? I'd say it's pretty gusty, it's coming and going. Um, but like for right now, it's cooled off, but we'll see. All right, well, thanks so much for joining us out there. No problem, all right. Now we're gonna go back to the weather, looking at our headlines for today. It is much colder than yesterday and our temperatures are gonna be in the 40s throughout Thursday. Um, but this weekend, we're finally going to get back up into the 50s and 60s where it's comfortable. Um, right now, it is 44 degrees outside, and like Madison said, it is cloudy and it is windy out there. We have winds at 20 to 25 miles per hour. Speaking of wind, we are under a wind advisory right now at 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. tonight. Winds are expected to be 20 to 25 miles per hour with those gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So it's going to be pretty windy out there. Looking at our hourly temperature, like Madison said, it's pretty cloudy and that's not really going to change. So we're going to get up to 52 degrees and then we're just going to fall back into the 40s this evening. And looking at our extended forecast for today, today is pretty much the warmest day. We're going to fall back into the 40s with a little bit of sunshine peeking through those clouds. And then back into the um, rest of the weekend, we're finally going to get back up into the 50s and 60s with a little bit more sunshine. Thanks for joining us on Good Morning KU. I'm Julie Cullen and we'll see you next time.